If you're new to OBS and want to record your screen, then you found a perfect video. Today, I'll show you how to set everything up. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. So first things first, what you need to do is obviously download and install OBS. You can do that by going to the OBS website, which will be linked down in the description below. Click on download, install it just like any other program. I'm sure you know how to do that. Once you have your OBS opened up right over here, it might look a little bit different because my settings are changed, but you will get the gist of it. So what you need to do is go to settings first and then adjust some of the settings so the footage looks all right. First things, we don't need to change anything in general. We need to go into the video itself over here. So video, you have four different things, three that we're gonna change. So base canvas, is your base monitor resolution. Depending on what kind of monitor you have, you either have a 1080p monitor, 2K, 4K, or something even better. I'm sure you have either 1080p or 2K. So choose whatever the monitor resolution it is. The highest you can go, choose that. Usually it's 1920 by 1080 or 2560 by 1440. So choose the resolution and then output scaled resolution is the resolution of your recording. So what the resolution of the recording you want. Depending on what kind of PC you have, you might want to lower this down in case your PC cannot handle, for example, 2K recording. So go down to 1080p, or if you really have to, 720p right here, 1280 by 720. So choose those, and once you've done that, you can choose the FPS values, which is the FPS of the video, either 60 or 30. 60 is used for gaming, 30 is used for talking head videos like this, where there's not a lot of movement. So choose either 60 or 30, and that's it. Now we want to go to the output over here, and we want to go from the output mode. Uh, it's going to be simple. Set it to advanced, and then go to recording over here because we will be recording. Uh, once you have everything set up over here, you will need to change just a few things. So if you want to go for a simple mode where it's you know nothing too complicated, you can do that, but I highly recommend advanced. That way we can adjust some things and maybe fix some of the issues you might have in the simple mode. So we want to set up our recording path over here, choose wherever you want to record your videos to, and then recording format, it should always be MKV. If you use MP4, if there is a power outage or something happens to your PC, your whole recording will be corrupted. If you use MKV, it will stop at that point and it will save everything that happened before. So you will not lose any of your footage. You should always use MKV and never MP4. We will be converting this to MP4 for editing later. You don't have to worry about that, but make sure to record in MKV. For the video encoder, we want to use either NVIDIA NVENC H.264, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, the newer ones. If you don't have that, you can go for a uh, QuickSync H.264, which is just as good, or HEVC. And if you don't have any of those, you can use X.264, which is a CPU encoder. That way, if you're not really gaming too much, you can use that, but I would not recommend it as it requires a pretty beefy CPU or your processor in order for you to actually run the recording without any lag. So once you've chosen those, you don't need to change anything over here. Uh, bit rate, you do wanna use around 10,000 bit rate, either CBR or CQP. So if you're using CQP, CQP is usually used for recording. Uh, the lower the number, the better the quality is, the higher the number, the worse quality, but the lower file size you'll have. So you can use CQP around 20 and then go above to you know, either like stop the lag or lower if you want your footage to look better. Uh, or you can just use, you know, like I said, CBR around 10,000 bit rate is fine. And then you can increase it to get better quality or decrease it to get worse quality. Uh, you can use the presets. Usually, you know, P5 slow, good quality is, you know, good quality. If you want better quality, go lower. If you want worse quality, go higher. So you get the gist, you'll need to adjust these depending on what kind of PC you have, if it'll be able to run these settings or not. Uh, you can leave this on high quality or even go low latency if you're having issues. Multi-pass mode, you can go single pass or quarter resolution two pass right here. Everything else, leave it as it is. Profile is set to high, psycho visual tuning and max B frames is set to two. That's it. So now you have the settings set up. Your quality should be looking just fine. Everything is gonna be good. You can go into audio and then choose your desktop audio, which is your speakers or your headphones. 
and then your mic as your microphone, obviously. So choose those. Once that's set up, you can click on apply, click OK, and then on the sources, you want to actually record the screen. So you either right click this, add, you can add a game capture, so you can capture whatever game you're playing, or you can use a display capture, which basically captures your whole display, your whole monitor, so whatever happens there, it will be seen on your recording. If you don't want something confidential to show up on the video, then don't use that. You can either use the window capture as well, just to capture a specific window. That way, you know, if you have something uh, that is not supposed to be shown on the video, it will not be shown. It will only show that specific window and you are kind of set. Hey guys, future agent here. One more thing I forgot to show is if you go to the advanced tab right here, you will see the automatically remux to MP4. This is what I was talking at the beginning of the video. It will automatically convert all of your MKV files to MP4. That way you don't lose anything in case it gets corrupted. So make sure to check this, click apply and you are set. And that's basically it. Those are all the settings you should be changing in OBS to record your screen and have a good quality for your footage. If you did like this video, make sure to drop the like. It would mean the world. If you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. If you wanna see more of my OBS guides, make sure to check this video right over here. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out and have a good one. Bye-bye.